It's been a few months since we yeah. last saw each other. How have things been going? It's been going pretty good. All right. So we got the results back on your nail test. Okay. Yeah. So now we know exactly what organism is causing the problem with your nails. And fortunately for you, it's only one organism. Sometimes on people, when we get the test results back, it's not unusual for it to be several organisms, sometimes three, four, or more, which makes it harder to treat. But you have just one organism. So that uh, makes things much easier for us as far as choosing what treatment to do. Mm -hmm. Now, you asked a good question earlier about using a topical medication. Mm -hmm. That is a medication you apply directly to the nails versus mm -hmm. taking something by mouth. Yeah, so, I don't want anything by the mouth, Lord. Yeah, I know. You take, you take enough, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the deal with, with using a topical medication, which we can do. All right. What needs to happen then today is that I really need to file them down quite a bit. Okay. Because the topical medication has to get, you know, to the nail. And the thicker the nail is, the less likely a topical medication will be successful. So I'm gonna really work on it today. Okay. All right, get it down. Now do uh, any of these uh, nails cause you any pain? No. No? How about this big toe nail on your on your right foot here. No, it hasn't caused me any pain at all. Um, the only time I have it is uh, I have do have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. If I get uh, fluid in me, you know, the, but it don't swell that much. But it'll swell up. You know, my feet are, might sw get swollen. Okay. If I get fluid from excess mm -hmm. salt. Mm -hmm. So when your feet swell up, does it with this nail being this thick? Does it make it uncomfortable in your shoes? No, I haven't had the problem with it being uncomfortable. I have problem. Well, I have bad hips anyhow, so mm -hmm. <laughs> but that hurt me. I have it's not so much as the um, the feet. Okay. It's up in here, the hip. <laughs> gotcha. So because of the bad hips, that makes it hard for you to take care of your own feet, right? Yes, and that's the problem. I can't bend down and get it. Because both hips, it's bone on bone. Okay. And what's being considered for the hips? Well, they want a surgery, and I put it off and been putting it off, but I don't think I can put it off much longer because mm. now it's beginning to hurt me real bad. And uh, injection is not going to help. Right. You know, the doctor said surgery is the only thing. Okay. When it gets to the point where it's bone on bone, uh, injection... In, into the joint is not going to help. Mm -hmm. And it's both hips. Mm -hmm. this, this, this side is worse than the other. Mm -hmm. So how are you making it? How are you getting around? With the cane. Okay. I don't stop. <laughs> I just hop. Yes. <laughs> I got to remember that. I'm going to use that one. I don't stop. I just hop. Yeah, but I just, it's, a little, it's a little slow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it okay if I use that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I, I should put that on a t-shirt. I don't stop. I just hop. Yes, ma'am. So what I have to do is get as much nail down. Because this nail I'm working on is called a, a ram's horn nail. Or what we call medically onychoglyphosis. When it gets real thick like that. Mm-hmm. And so, as you're applying the medication on, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. you will continue to see me every two months so we can keep it filed down so the medication will work. Okay. Okay. Trust the curette and clean this out some more. Now, since you have the double hip issue, you're unable to get down to work yeah. on your feet. Is there anyone 
that can help you in that regard? No. No? I, I have a, I, I'll put the, the feet, in, if, I, if I soak the feet, mm -hmm. <laughs> then I lay on the bed. <laughs> And I'm trying to put the foot up like that and do it a little bit on that side. Okay. And then I turn around on the other side. What are you but I'm not getting it thoroughly like it should be, you right, know. Right. What do you soak your feet in? Oh, it's just uh, baking soda and uh, alcohol. And do you find that helpful? Well, I just put it in there to soak it because when you take a shower, you know that I can't reach down there and get it real, my feet real good. But if I... Got a brush mm -hmm. and put it in the butt in the in, in a basin. Then you know I can you know do it that way. Okay. How long is the brush? How long is the handle? Oh, it's not just the average brush that you do, you know that you can buy, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not that long. It's not long enough for me to get down there like that. Okay. Because you said baking soda and alcohol, right? Uh -huh. so now I put a little bleach in, in the water, cap full of bleach. Cap full of bleach, too? Yeah. Okay. So let me let me tell you why you should stop doing those oh. things. The soak itself is fine, but I wouldn't use the baking soda, the alcohol, oh. and definitely not the bleach, and this is why in these cases. Okay, because they are drying agents. Oh. Okay, and they promote dryness of the skin. Oh. Okay, so what's happening, it, it can kind of contribute to the issue instead of actually making it better. Oh, okay. So if you want to soak your feet, which is fine, what you want to do is soak it in something that's going to be soothing and provide moisturization. So what I would recommend in your case is to just use a mild soap. You remember like a, like the palm olive or yeah. things like that? Well, that, yeah, I forgot. I thought it yeah, was, yeah, soap. I just a, a few drops of soap in the that's all yeah. in the in your basin mm -hmm. and soak your feet. That'll help them to feel better. Oh, okay. All right, and uh, the topical medication I'm gonna prescribe for you, just called cyclopirox, cyclopirox, because that's what uh, came up as effective from your lab report. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to use to treat this. So, so, just we're going to choose not to use the, the pill in this case. Often in cases like this, I use the oral medication because the your nails are so thick. But uh, we're going to really get them down today. All right. Okay. So you can use the topical topical medication, right. and it'll be uh, more successful. You know the brush that you like. You get like you use it in the shower, mm -hmm. the, what you call, like if you do it, I take that, and that's on the little stick, you know, you get from the dollar store. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and then I, that's how I put the oil on that, and then that's how I oil them. Okay. I can't bend. Right. Like that. Another trick is to put your, your cream or your oil mm -hmm. on your brush. Mm -hmm. And put your your brush on the floor, oh, and then rub your foot over top brush. of the brush so you don't have to try oh, to bend over. Okay. Oh, that's better because I can get it all. Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, on, do you have trouble getting down and back up and down from the floor? Well, I don't get down on the floor. No, okay. I would have trouble. Okay. <laughs> so what you do is you you put it on like a a stool or a chair or something like that, yeah. so you don't have to go all the way down to the floor. No, I can get that, um, you know, the floor, because, uh, I mean, the brush, I can get to put the brush down there and uh, and do that, just what you said. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a problem doing that. I thought you mean get down on the floor and then try to get up. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no I just want to, you know different ways of taking care of your feet Yeah. because of these issues. I mean, I see a lot of people with these issues, hips, knees, and back yeah. issues. So it makes it very difficult or almost impossible for them to take care of their own mm -hmm. feet. It certainly is. Mm. Okay. Because I was going to, uh, in between, you know, when I saw you, and then I, I would wait, and then I would go to one of them little 
the little, the little, the little, um, little Chinese, yeah. Nail yeah. salons? Yeah, the salon, mm. so that they could, you know, get what I couldn't get. Okay. But not, I told them, don't be cutting on them. I said, I have, a, I didn't need them cutting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. There we go. Very good. And that toe got like that. I think I'm not sure, but I think many, 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 many years ago, mm -hmm. I had surgery. You know, on the toe. Mm -hmm. What were they doing? What were they trying Both to? Both toes are the, the bunions. Okay. And two people at the time I didn't know because it was I was younger then. I mm -hmm. didn't know then uh, I should have got one and then went and got the other one. Mm -hmm. And so he had, you know, while you're up under there, he had a, one, he did this, the doctor did this one, that's why I sprayed her. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the assistant did that one. Okay. And that one, why? that's why that one kind of bent and then, you know, the bunny kind of like come back. But this one has it. Okay. All right. And then they caught that toe Let's get ready to file everything down here now.
This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Share it with your family and friends. If you leave a comment or a question, it may be featured in a future video. But most importantly, take care of your feet.